What you'll need for this is some thumbtacks and a couple of balloons. Start by putting your blown up balloon on one thumbtack and you'll see that it pops. Then lay out a bunch of thumbtacks and press it on and you'll find that it doesn't pop. That's because the pressure when there's only one is right on one point of the balloon. But the pressure when there's a bunch is dispersed so the balloon doesn't pop. To make balloon racers, you need a straw, a balloon, and some ribbon. We use Christmas ribbon. And then you just feed your ribbon through the straw, blow up your balloon, and tape your balloon to the straw. And then tie off your string. We tied it to our door and then to a bottom, the bottom of a chair. And then just go. blow it up and let go. What you'll need for this is a wooden skewer and a balloon. After blowing up your balloon, you want to poke your skewer through the bottom where you tied your balloon and then up through the top of the balloon. And that is because the polymer chains in the balloon are pushed aside, but the bond remains so the balloon doesn't pop. It's easier to push the skewer in at the ends where the polymer strands have more give. Around the sides of the balloon, where the strands are stretched more tightly, they're more likely to pop. What you'll need to make this is an empty plastic bottle, a cup, a straw, a paring knife with adult supervision, hot glue, and of course a balloon. So how you want to start is you want to put a little hole in the side of your bottle. I used a paring knife and just kind of twisted it around. And that's a perfect size for the straw. You want it just big enough for the straw. And then you're going to take hot glue and seal around to make sure that there's no air leaking out. You want to fill your bottle with water. You can only fill it to the top of the straw. I colored the water just so you guys could see it a little bit better. And then you want to take your balloon and twist it up and then put it on top. And as you untwist it, the air will come rushing out of the balloon and push into the bottle, which will make the water leave out the straw and you can pinch it to stop the water. And there you have it, your very own water fountain. Cool, right? What you'll need is a glass bottle and you'll, you'll want to microwave this glass bottle with a little bit of water in it, so you'll need a parent supervision. And then a balloon and a bucket of ice water. So after you boil the water inside of your glass jar, you want to put your balloon over top of it and then stick it in the ice water to let it cool. As the air in the bottle cools, it contracts and takes up less space in the bottle. So air from the outside of the bottle rushes in to fill that space. Doing so, it inflates the balloon. Now you don't need to use the bowl of ice water. If you just let this sit out on the counter, it will naturally cool, but it'll take longer. So we just use the ice water to have it cool faster so we can see the reaction happen faster. Good job, ready? Think it'll pop? Yes. Yeah. Do not try this without adult supervision. What you'll need is a balloon, a match, and a candle, and then a little bit of water. So the secret is you put a little bit of water in the balloon before you blow it up. This happens because the water is conducting heat away from the surface of the balloon. As the water closest to the flame heats up, it begins to rise and the cooler water replaces it at the bottom of the balloon.
what you need for this is some tissue paper cut out in whatever shapes you want and a balloon. We cut ours out into little ghost shapes. What you want to do is rub the balloon on your hair or your shirt and then that will create a static charge and then you can get your ghosts to dance. What you'll need to make this is a hot glue gun, a cap with a hole drilled in it, an old CD, and a balloon. So hot glue your cap with the hole drilled in it onto your CD, and then blow up your balloon, and I twist it so the air doesn't just immediately come out, and then put it on your hovercraft, and there you have it. The air greatly reduces the friction of the CD on the table. So you can make a really fun game out of it, kind of like air hockey. So all you need for this is baking soda, vinegar, a empty bottle, and a balloon. And then get a helper to help you put some baking soda in your balloon. One person can kind of hold it open and the other person can spoon in some baking soda. Put some vinegar inside of your empty bottle and stretch your balloon over top of the bottle. And when you're ready, you can dump the baking soda into the vinegar and it will create a chemical reaction which will fill up the balloon. You can also try it with a glove, which is really cool. One note about the glove, be prepared for a mess. It doesn't always come out the way it's supposed to. <laughs> what you need for this is a PVC pipe or a balloon will work just as well. And then you charge your pipe or balloon up by rubbing it in your hair or on your shirt and then put it by the water. I have a bonus experiment for you that we didn't record. So what you wanna do is take an orange peel and squeeze it right next to a balloon and the balloon will pop. It's pretty cool, you should try it out. You can find more science fun at RaisingDaVinci.net and if you try any of these experiments, tag me on social media, I would love to see it.